This is AEDT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title for this particular video clip is Digital Communication Technologies, an Introduction. Hello students and welcome to Digital Communication Technologies. This video clip will introduce the course. I am Dr. Anne Louise Davidson and this is Nadia Nafi. I will be your instructor for this course and Nadia will be the teaching assistant. We will be co-teaching this course. In this first video capsule, we are highlighting the most important items of the course outline, but you will need to read it thoroughly to understand all the requirements for this course. The purpose of this course is to examine the foundations and evolution of digital communication technologies. Students will explore the shift from analog to digital technologies, identify the range of digital communication technologies currently in use, analyze the impact of these technologies on commerce, the professions, education, and society in general. Potential topics include, but are not limited to, the social and environmental impact of digital technologies, including issues of equity and digital divide. In this course, you will understand the differences between analog and digital communication technologies. Know and understand the different technical advantages offered by digitalization of communication technologies. Acquire skills in the use of a variety of current digital communication technologies. Analyze and evaluate different digital communication technologies in terms of their suitability for particular applications. Understand the affordances and limitations of digital communications in terms of their social, legal, and environmental impact. In particular, to successfully complete this course, you will learn to exploit digital communication technologies to solve problems in a social learning perspective. The course has been designed in 12 modules that are spread over 12 weeks. Expect one hour of YouTube video watching, one hour of asynchronous discussions, and one hour of synchronous discussions on Adobe Connect, aside from the assignments and the readings. We invite you to read the course outline to get more details about the required activities. There will be analysis questions in the beginning of each video capsule and synthesis questions at the end of each video capsule. The analysis questions contain elements we would like you to think about while listening to the videos. They allow you to have an idea of how the video capsule has been structured. The synthesis questions contain elements to help you extract essential knowledge from the video. These questions can all be discussed during the tutorial sessions. This course has been designed using a problem-based learning approach using three overarching problems which are all announced in the format of PBL scenarios at the end of week three. The PBL scenarios are exposed on week three, but keep in mind that the whole course is designed to help you solve these problems through interacting in social media and reading about concepts and principles of digital communication technologies. Eight characters are at the center of the three problems. Harry, Mary, Jack, Jen, Vicky, Ricardo, Pierre, and Joe. You will get to know them throughout the course. Our final week will be an opportunity to synthesize and debrief our experiences. On three occasions, during courses 4, 8, and 12, there will be an opportunity to create video responses to student questions that are arising. We will produce these three videos on the Wednesday that precedes the course. Please ensure that questions are sent to the TA by the Tuesday night at 11.59 p.m. The assignments in this course will be evaluated using an assessment and evaluation rubric. There is one broad competency that you need to develop. That is, to learn to exploit digital communication technologies in a social learning perspective to solve problems related to education, the professions, and commerce. Your work will be evaluated based on your degree of performance for the following criteria relevance, rigor, depth, breadth, precision, and coherence. It goes without saying that your involvement in all activities is essential to your success in this course. 
We will discuss this further when we explain the course projects in the second video capsule for this module. Please ensure that you read attentively the policies for this course. If you have any special needs related to a disability or a health condition, let us know what they are this week so that we can accommodate you.